Now, I think this is pretty much self-explanatory from the title of the video, and these games are gonna come to PC. First off, we have Persona 5 The Phantom X. Now, this is a spin-off from Persona 5, and this is gonna be at the same town from Persona 5, and there is gonna be Joker helping these guys out. And the game is looking pretty awesome. For now, it is only available in China, but they have announced that it will be available globally because they already have the Twitter page and the Facebook page for this game, I think, for the global one. So, hey, looking forward to this game. Next up we have Girls Frontline 2, Exilium. They really do make a difference between um, the first one and the second one. Yeah, it is really really different because this one is more or less like XCOM 1 and there's no chibi style. Well, if you play Girls Frontline 1, it is a chibi anime and kind of like a turn-based real-time one. So this one is like XCOM style and the graphics, man. It is looking mwah because, yeah, uh, to be honest with you, this game is looking similar to a snow break from the art style itself, but not similar in the gameplay-wise. So, yeah, I like it. I really do. It's vibrant, yet it is apocalyptic in a way. So, love it. Love the... Love the direction of the art style in this game. Arc Knight's Anvil. We don't really have that much information about this game, but I think here's the gameplay. It is really different from Genshin or Woodring Waves. I mean, the gameplay wise, it's action, yes, yeah, same as, you know, Woodring Waves or Genshin Impact. But as you can see, we can be accompanied by three more people from our party. So I think that is a nice touch, making the game more lively, making the combat more lively. And it's not just us alone versus the world, okay? So I think this is pretty good, pretty, pretty good. And the art style design in this game is more or less like Woodring Waves, not like Genshin Impact, so I like it. It's vibrant again and apocalyptic at the same time, so I think that's a nice touch. I really do love art style like this. I mean, they're changing up the market. Of course, Project Mugen is in the list. This is something like a Spider Man gacha game because you can just web zip through everything in this world, and they really do amp up the traversal in this game like we have rides we have motorbikes we have cars we have web swings and the gameplay is looking pretty good too i mean the interactable uh, npcs and the world design is um, phenomenal because it is so huge from by just the look of it so yeah project mugen this is looking promising looking looking promising so Hopefully this will come out soon. I know it will be a very long way until we got another trailer or something like that. But for now, this is a gacha game that you need to keep an eye on. Well, Zenless Zone Zero is of course in the list because this is the next upcoming gacha games that is gonna come to PC from miHoYo and looking awesome. It's different from Genshin Impact, it's almost similar as Punishing Grey Raven because from what I know, this is a dungeon based game. So there's an open world, but the open world is gonna be like Honkai Star Rail where you just, well it's a semi open world, you interact with NPCs and then you go to this uh, destination to play in a dungeon. 
So not as open world as Genshin Impact, but I think it's pretty good because some of us are tired, okay? Some of us are really tired from fucking open world, aka me. And the animation looks phenomenal, graphical style is phenomenal, art style design is just vibrant, beautiful. Man, MiHoYo really does a good job on the vibrancy of a game, of their games, the character design. This game is just spot on for me. I mean, I cannot wait. So, yeah, Zenless Zone Zero. Aether Gazer. Now, I know this is already available globally on mobile, but yeah, it is on mobile, not on PC, but it's gonna be coming to PC. The developer said it themselves, so hey, it is a gacha game that is gonna come to PC and the most anticipated one. And people are always, always saying that this game needs a PC client or a PC port. And I do agree because this game plays really good. And if it does have a PC client or a PC port, man, this game is gonna be gorgeous. And just take a look at PGR, man. PGR has a PC client already, and it has 120 FPS, more fidelity from the graphical side. So, yeah, looking forward to this game coming to PC. Duet Night Abyss. People are saying that this game is so similar, similar to Warframe, and I do agree. Look at the skills, to be honest, it's really similar to Warframe, and yeah. I don't know if it's a bad thing or a good thing, but people do love Warframe, and people love anime, so hey, why not combine those two and make a ton of money, and this game is looking pretty lit. I don't know when we are gonna get a new update for this game, but just for this trailer itself, man. Man, man, man. <laughs> I know I'm always saying man, but holy hell, this game is looking pretty good. Awesome. Gameplay-wise, it is, of course, action combat. I don't think there's going to be auto in this game. And just take a look at the traversal because it is so similar to Warframe. And I freaking love it. Solo leveling arise. It's gonna come to PC, and to be honest, there's not much information yet for this game. Uh, they really do announce it back then, and it was so hype. People are comparing this game to Devil May Cry, but nowadays it's kind of meh because it's being too hype and it's not releasing in anytime soon. I mean globally. So yeah, I don't know, man. It does look promising from just the gameplay alone. It's fast face. It is hack and slash. Like of course, Devil May Cry. But people are dying down on the hype because this game is super super slow. But still, this game is the most anticipated game from all the gacha community because it is looking pretty promising and looking pretty goddamn good. Uh, Of course, the last one, but not the least, it is Woodring Waves. I mean, I really don't have to explain this again. People are enjoying this game. Combat is amazing. Art style design is, of course, beautiful and gorgeous at the same time. And people say that in CBT2, all the changes, all the updates are making the game super, super good to play. Or even better to play. So... Yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this one. Hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you guys again on the next one. Bye guys.